All right, but hey, we've done some good things, but we got to be way more consistent than that. All right, we're way too up and down, feeling way too good about scoring a couple points. That's not the standard. The standard is to score every time we touch the ball. So don't go score and come off the field feeling good about ourselves and then get soft for two series. No, we score every time we touch it. We want touchdowns. I don't want to settle for field goals. If we're on the one yard line, we better score. Outside receivers are challenging us, pressing us up. Someone's got to say, I can beat it, all right? Try to run by them and they're just digging us up, all right? If they're going to press you, we're going to see it all year, so we better start beating it, all right? Let's go light this thing up in the second half, all right? Not happy with one score. We're having a score every single time we touch the ball. That's the that's the standard. Let's meet it. Let's go. All right, listen. Our tempo sometimes is a little slow, just like on your big play tour. The, everybody's walking around too much, right? We're trying to we're trying to get the get the tempo going on them, and everybody's standing around, don't even know what's going on. You know what I mean? Get focused. We'll, hey, we'll celebrate when we score, right? We'll celebrate when we score. Right? Hey, let's go ahead and put the dagger in the heart. All right, let's go to work. Six to one protection. We good on. Yes, sir. What do we block? Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't get your feelings about it. Don't get upset. Don't get tight. My job is to address you when you're wrong. That's the world we live in. Do your job. You understand that? We're going to freaking even double attack. You got me? That, we're going to smoke their ass out. They're going to get empty. We're going to make them damn pay. We're going we're gonna to get the quarterback. We're going to hit them in the damn mouth. Right, don't let and up. we got to get there 1,001, 1,002 and hit his ass. Don't let up. All right, man, I challenge you right now. What are you going to do in the second half? How are you going to amp this up? Defense, my expectations have grown. All right, they have grown. Continue to attack their ass and be twice as good in the second half as you were the first half. Offense, be more consistent. We have to challenge ourselves, all right, and make sure we're a better second half team. We are a first half team. Special teams, done a lot of good things, just that first one. But now you understand. Get your ass down the field and cover. Do your job, all right? What I'm gonna, what I'm gonna see, all right, when I watch this tape, is I'm gonna turn it on from the second half on. I'm gonna see what the hell y'all did from the second half on. Because that's when you amp it up. Right now you got a chance, you got an opportunity, all right, to choke them out. You do. You have the opportunity to choke their ass out. What the hell are you gonna do with it? What are you gonna do with it? Combs, break it down. Yeah! Hey, let's go, y'all. It's savages on three. One, two, three. Savages. Let's go. Total yards for North Texas, 78 for Bethune-Cookman, but taking over with a 17-point lead. Something that uh, last year's team did not ever experience, and the 2014 team didn't experience all that often. So this is uh, rarefied heights over the last couple of years for North Texas football. Mason Fine all the way at quarterback. Snap back on first down, and the throw is uh, out of the hands of Turner Smiley. Well defended by Arthur Williams on the short toss over the middle incomplete. And we got a quarterback dinged up after that play. Mason Fine rolling over on his right side, doubled over. He's got his hands on his left knee. Now I don't know if that's something we should jump to conclusions on, but it appears they're looking at the knee. And uh, Alec Morris quickly throwing some warm-up tosses along the sideline. Now a hand as he makes his way to his feet. Well, again, quarterbacks these days, and fine is certainly this case, they don't wear padding on their knees. In fact, the pants actually break at the knees, so your knee is exposed. So you hit your funny bone. That can hurt really, really bad. It doesn't mean there's ligament damage necessarily, but it does mean you're in some real pain. How did it feel walking off? Well, good. Set up by no, no instability. You got a helmet? What? Helmet right on it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. All right, man. So, meantime, first down from the 32. There must have been a penalty, and the first play for Morris is a toss sweep left, and Jeffrey Wilson is back in the game. Let's, uh, let's see you walk around a little bit, see if you run around, and we'll, we'll go from there. Snap back for Morris. Well protected. Now steps up. He's going to keep it. Right side of the 35 slides ahead, well short of the first of the 37-yard line. Let's uh, send some shout-outs to the medical staff there for getting that young man back so quickly. Passed all the uh, tests that Coleman was talking about along the sideline. Snap is back. He's going to keep it. 40 up the middle, 35, and slides to the 32-yard line. Quick snap, back. quick snap, fine already ready, hand off again, Tucker, and he will take this one into the end zone, touchdown. Bingo, 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 we tip our way for some issues, they're ready to tap, yeah. stay on their ass, let's go, keep going, keep going. On 44 
carries and scored twice. Morris with it, throws over the middle, deflected and intercepted at the 30-yard line. Return to the 20, still on his feet, to the 15, to the 10, up the far sideline, and out of bounds at the marker with a touchdown is Daquan Richardson. The big of 31-13. That's to Brim's left, ball far, hash fart for the 25 after the touchback, and the handoff goes around the right side and turning it up to the 30, 40, across midfield is Cameron Rigby. Well, the Wildcats know if they could get a score here before the clock evaporates in the third quarter, they're still very much in the game. You score and get seven, and it's a two-touchdown game. They come after it, and they get a block, and this is going to be returned inside the 10 and down to the five-yard line. A block punt picked up by Devon Witherspoon. Hey, hey, listen, we're fine. We're fine, but I told you before the drop down, I wasn't going to call drop or Matt, so you didn't have to go. I know, I, I knew that. Oh, Jinx was on the wrong side. Ask who got oh, this. I don't know. I can't uh, see. Okay. All right, now. Morris with the snap back, handoff up the middle. Ivory with a burst. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Willie Ivory. And it's 40 to 13. Appreciate that, boy. Hey, you know, you know this? I told him to get somebody. Okay. Nate Brooks has been listed at the starter. Snap back. And on a quarterback draw, stepping up, heading to the right side, picking up the first to the 20, 30, 40. Now a foot race, and Akevius Williams with one man to beat to the 20, 10 touchdown. 83 yards. And despite the big lead, that will irritate the head coach and certainly Mike Eckler, his defensive coordinator, to allow that to happen so late on a third down. Welcome to Denton, Texas, home of the grind, where there's the right way, the wrong way, and the North Texas way. Wake up, train, sleep, repeat, 24-7, 365. The grind cannot be tamed. The grind is relentless. The grind will wear you down. It will push you through the beat, and it will lift you up in victory. Get ready. It's time to feed the grind. North Texas versus Middle Tennessee, Saturday, October 1st. Call 940-565-2527 or visit MeanGreenSports.com. UNT is more than 125 years in the making. To find new solutions, we create a new point of view. We know what's possible when creativity, originality, and independent thought converge. We're ranked a Tier 1 research university. We're home to excellence the size of Texas. Define your future at UNT and soar to new heights. for president, get him, he right there. 23, because President Kisson Madison. McClain for president. Fred Scott for president, too. Hey, Fred Scott for president. That's my captain. Come here, Obama. Hey, that's my captain Come right here, there. Come on. Come on, dog. Right Come here. on, dog. I'm running for Come secretary on, of state. They're running the clock. They're running the clock. So again, the final score at Apogee Stadium in front of 15,609. North Texas 41, Bethune, Cookman 20. Texas. I can't get used to that. I can't get used to that. Hopefully this is the first of many, many, but it'll always be the first. And a dominant ground game was the story. 329 rushing yards. We won. Hey, good job. Good luck, you guys. Uh, see the crowd and the fans, you know, be excited about the win. It was exciting. And, uh, you know, we just got to take it all in and enjoy it. Especially after last year, you know, we were all putting a lot of pressure on ourselves for the first win. A lot of times you see teams that they don't know how to win, and that was us last year. Yeah, well, I mean, it's kind of like coming from a drought, you know. You finally get rain, everyone's going to celebrate, and finally hit water. Yeah, it was a good feeling. Um, yeah, everybody excited. Everybody's hooting and hollering in the locker room. At the end of the game, uh, while it's easy to kind of focus on some of the negatives that happened, I was uh, constantly reminded by just how happy I am for, for Coach and Trevor. We needed that win, like really needed it. And it was good to see, see Coach Detroit get his first win because, I mean, he put in a lot of work for us and he do a lot of things for us. So. Man, awful proud of you today. Resiliency. That's what, it, that's what it's going to take. It's a process. And you guys, after last week, come out and played well. Proud of you, proud of your coaches, and especially proud to present the game ball to your head coach. Yeah!
We were everyone special. It was awesome. But overall, I was more excited for the, the group in that locker room that had put so much work and all those guys that believed in me as the head coach. And yeah, it was, it was a cool feeling. First off, this goes to every damn person in this room. Yeah. Yeah. We are a family, and the way y'all came out, you competed your asses off, all right? And I asked you, I asked you, come out and compete as a family. And that's exactly what we did. There was a lot of ups and downs throughout that game. And you know what? You responded to every single one of them. Every piece of adversity we have, we responded as a family. And that's why men, men, that's why we'll be successful. That's why we'll be successful. Defense, unbelievable damn job, defense. <laughs> you wore their asses out every single play. You wore their ass out, and that's what it's going to take. O-line, where are you at? Yeah. Here we go! What I tell you, man, I told you, man, right? We got to dominate up front. We got to dominate front. I told y'all, we got to average more than four plus yards of carry. Yeah. All right? One sack of Hey, we, we accomplished those goals, man. Y'all dominated up front. All right? We did a lot of great things up front. And this is the same reason why we had any success on offense tonight. It all starts up front. Give it up to our old line. Yeah. Man, this is the first of many. Mm. At the end of the day, this is the first of many. This is the first of many. And again, the more you come together, the tighter we get, the harder you work, the more you believe in each other and yourselves. Believe. All right? If you believe in a, our family right here, I promise you this, there's not a team on our schedule we can't beat. There's not one damn team on our schedule we can't beat the tighter we come together. Believe in it, man. Come back this next week. Let's work our ass off. Let's get our ass to the swamp and let's go kick some ass. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Uh, it's, a, it's a total team effort. Every, every win and every, every loss that you have, it's a total team effort. And that's the exciting part about it to me. Let's go, let's go. Family on three. One, two, three. Family!